Good evening, class. I hope everybody is well. Today, we'll still be talking about uh, the business plan, but today we're going to talk about a section of the business plan, which is the market research. The lesson objectives for today is two things. At the end of this lesson, my learners should be able to, number one, be able to define and explain what market research is. And the second goal that we have, or objective that we have, is the learners should be able to use the market research tools to create a market research. These two market research tools are, firstly, the SWOT analysis, and the second one is the seven P's of marketing. So what do you think market research is? I'm just gonna give you two seconds to reflect on that and ask yourself that question. Okay, so market research is the process of collecting very important or vital information about the company and its target audience, its market, potential competitors, and understanding the audience and the environment that it's in. This is usually done at the beginning stages of a market plan when a business wants to know in which community or which environment it can operate and flourish in. There's two things I'm going to teach you today about market research, which is the SWOT analysis and secondly, the seven P's of marketing as marketing research tools. The first thing we're going to talk about today is the SWOT analysis, the first component. And what is the SWOT analysis? So we can loosely or briefly describe the SWOT analysis as a framework for identifying and analyzing the organization or the business's strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Right? So the SWOT analysis will be formed into four blocks in a square. We're going to divide those four blocks into two parts, internal strength and internals and external factors. The internal factors look like the strength and the opportunity, the strength and the weaknesses, sorry, and the external will look like opportunities and threats. Now, if we had to now look at each individual block and had to talk about the strength, the weaknesses, the opportunities and the threats of the business, we would then say Guti, the strength would probably be the quality of products that the business would produce. And that's something that the business has full control over, right? It's what would give the business competitive advantage over its competitors. Its weaknesses would look like internal problems that the business already or knows and has information on and can change. This looks like maybe the business would be struggling with customer service and therefore they would maybe try and implement processes to improve that. When it comes to external things, it's things or factors, it's things that the business is unable to immediately solve, but it still poses as a threat or opportunity. So an opportunity would be the rise of technology that gives the business to reach a much wider audience, maybe globalization, so trade across borders, and etc. And then lastly, we have threats. Threats the business has no opportunity or no, no control over, but again, they can they can what? They can prepare for it, right? So threats would look like legalization or new laws for trading that might stop the business from doing something or prevent the business from doing something. So these are the four things we need to know about the SWOT analysis. Its strengths, its weaknesses, its opportunities, and its threats. Next, we're going to move to the seven Ps of the market. We say the seven Ps of the market are a framework that enables the business to better understand various factors that affect the business. What are these factors? They're the seven Ps. We can call them out and I'll give an example for each. First is the product. The product will be the service or the product or good that the business would be selling to its customers. Secondly, will be pricing. Pricing looks like what is the business selling its product at? What is the quality or the worth, sorry, the worth that the business is attaching to its asset? Thirdly, it is the place. This is the physical place in which the business is situated. In what mall, in what area, and etc. Then we have promotion. This is when businesses are forced to either increase their prices, decrease their prices, advertise themselves, and put themselves out there. How are they promoting themselves to the public? The fifth thing that we have is people. People look like the target audience, competitors around them, and its employees. And obviously, it also looks like suppliers and all shareholders or stakeholders of the business. The sixth thing we have is the processes of the business. So this looks like how does the business operate on the inside? 
how do they produce their products? How do they purchase things? How do they treat their employees? How do they work with their suppliers? How do they bargain? How do they negotiate? And etc. And then lastly, it's the physical environment or physical evidence. This literally just means that what type of environment is the business operating in? Is it operating in a democrat democratic country where they have free trade? Are they working where the only supplier they would have would be a specific company and the legalizations of the business? And those are the seven P's of marketing that's also part of the market research in summary of market research and today's topic we are talking about two things right we're talking about the process of collecting vital information about a company's targeted audience competitors and understanding its environment much better so that's what market research is we then did that market research using two structures or frameworks which was the SWOT analysis the strength weaknesses opportunities and threats and the seven p's can you name them very quickly <laughs> don't worry i'll help you it's product place promotion people processes physical environment and what and processing thank you so much for this lesson and i hope you have a lovely day